Levin. Concerns from Short Ridge High School parents after their children spent time on lockdown on Tuesday because a student brought a gun to the school. The parents tell WRTV's Cornelius Hocker they want to see changes from the school and community to prevent this from happening again. Terrifying. I was absolutely terrified yesterday. I haven't told you that, but I gave her the biggest hug when she came out of out of school. A natural reaction from Megan Garcia, whose daughter Katie was on lockdown Tuesday at Short Ridge High School. My brain went to things are very, very bad. I was texting just some of my uh, family. Um, I was really, you know, anxious. I didn't really know what was going on. The reason for the lockdown? A student brought a gun to school, according to Indianapolis Public Schools. Megan says they didn't know this until afterward. There were a lot of parents that were ready to barge into the school, which reasonable. I, I would have been one of them. I think my daughter has been pretty traumatized by uh, the fear of, of someone having a gun um, when these kids uh, have seen so many school shootings. Well-known pastor and community advocate Reverend Charles Harrison has two kids at Short Ridge High School and felt compelled to speak out to stress how finding a gun at school is not acceptable. My concern was if kids are bringing guns to school, they're bringing them for a reason. So does a kid feel threatened? Does a kid feel like there may be a fight and other kids have a gun. As a responsible gun owner, it is an adult's responsibility to protect kids. Becca McCracken is a Moms Demand Action volunteer. If you've made the decision to have a gun in your home, then you need to take the next step to lock it up and prevent access. Gun locks are free in Marion County. It's something Moms Demand Action wants people to know about. You can go to any library in Marion County to get one, something Becca thinks everyone should take advantage of. She also wants people to understand what safe storage of a gun looks like. Secure storage means storing your gun locked, unloaded, with ammunition stored separately. And although no one was physically hurt at Short Ridge High School, Becca says the impact on students, especially the one who was arrested, is profound. I think having this young person have an interaction with law enforcement and the criminal justice system is really harmful. For families like the Garcias, this incident has them looking for ways to ensure their daughter Katie will be safe as she gets an education. We are looking at um, other schools, other districts, and the possibility of being homeschooled through uh, online public school. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. Short Ridge High School called the incident extremely disturbing, one that violates what their community stands for. They started school today by checking in with students to see how they are holding up. In June, WRTV investigates looked into how school districts are using handheld metal detectors meant to find weapons like guns. They were distributed by the state in 2019. Indianapolis Public Schools told us it uses the metal detector wands for random screenings during the school week and at some athletic events. The state provided schools across the state with a total of about 3,400 metal detectors with a price tag of more than $352,000.